What's going on, boxing heads? It's Bull Kind of Boxing. Like and subscribe. While the king of boxing is sitting back on his laurels and uh, serving in his kingdom and his landscape, you know what I'm saying? It's like nobody's putting pressure on Canelo to fight David Benavidez or uh, David Morrell Jr. Really, they're pitting those two against against uh, themselves right you know what I'm saying Canelo you know what I'm saying he gets to do what he want to do while everybody else got to abide by the rules right that's how boxing goes and everybody is fine with that right I'm not fine with that I want to see uh Canelo fight somebody in his weight class because there's nothing but killers around him and he's he stepped outside the weight class to avoid that risk and nobody seems to want to say that well the, David Morrell Jr. is the up and coming he just beat Cena Abeko right and Cena Beko shouldn't have been in the ring with David Morrell Jr., but yet everybody is giving um, David Morrell Jr. so much credit for this fight, a fight that he's supposed to win, a showcase fight, a busy fight, right? They're saying that David uh, turned down that fight to fight um, Demetrius Andrade, but people don't remember before the performance of um, uh, Demetrius Andrade in that fight, and they saw what happened. They thought that uh, Demetrius Andrade was going to um, beat uh, David Benavidez saying he was lacking skills, he was lacking the movement. Now they're trashing um, Demetrius Andrade, saying that he was too small, saying that uh, David was too big and too strong for him. Which, you know, everybody was saying, you know, all the uh, people who supported David were saying that Andrade wasn't going to be able to beat him because of those things, right? So that's what we do in boxing. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you see an up and coming guy that you, you know what I'm saying, want, want uh, all the opportunity um you know what i'm saying his accomplishments and stuff you know what i'm saying you support and you validate right because i don't think uh the cena of beko you know what i'm saying is really you know what i'm saying uh, uh any kind of indicator that he could beat david benavidez now i do see uh david Morrell's skills he's way more skilled than uh david benavidez you know what i'm saying and david benavidez never fought a fighter that got the power of uh david morrell jr david morrell jr not only does he have the power he has uh the act the agility he has the, the ability to box he has uh, a high boxing iq and he, he's got he punches from you know what I'm saying these angles man he got angles after angles you know what i'm saying how he fights and uh even though i don't think he fought better competition than um david benavidez you know what i'm saying you can't you can't look at uh david morrell resume and tear then look at uh, David Benavidez's resume, and then tear down David uh, Benavidez's resume and start just trashing his opponents. You know what I'm saying? Because we all know who Demetrius Andrade is. You know what I'm saying? We all know we all all know who Caleb Plant is. I mean, do you know anybody on um David Morrell list? You know what I'm saying? Is are they names known? I mean, see, have you seen them around boxing? You know what I'm saying? Do you see them holding any titles? Do you see them making any waves in boxing? The opponents that David Morrell Jr. fought? No. You know what I'm saying? And even if he he looks great against those opponents, opponents, you know what I'm saying? They are not they are not compared to the fighters that David Benavidez fought. I mean, you could cherry pick all you want through David Benavidez's resume. But he's up and next to fight Canelo. David Morrell Jr. has been on the fringe of boxing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, now we're trying to compare these two. And, um, you know, so David Morrell Jr., he looks better in the ring with his style and his po his power punching and his angles and his hooks and the, and the way he moves in the ring. Yeah, he looks way more athletic than um, David Benavidez. David Benavidez is stiff. You know what I'm saying? He, he fights going forward, never fight going backwards. And um, so David Morrell Jr. is the more skilled fighter. We see that. You know what I'm saying? He has uh, more power than anybody that David Benavidez faced. But I want to see the fight. I don't want to put uh, David Morrell Jr. over Benavidez just yet. I want to see him in there with better competition. You know what I'm saying? I've been saying that all along. When he when he was like 3-0, and I did a video on him. You know what I'm saying? Because I was impressed uh, by this guy, uh, natural abilities. I was impressed by... You know what I'm saying? His his Cuban school of discipline of boxing. And then he got Ronnie Shields as a coach. You know what I'm saying? So he is he may well just destroy David Benavidez. But can we not crown him before he gets into the ring with David Benavidez? Can we see the fight? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I want to see the fight. I'm excited about David Morrell Jr. as anybody else. But I want to see him um, rise to the top the proper way. I want to see him... 
like go in there and fight top competition and look like David Benavidez is going to be it. You know what I'm saying? Look like that's going to be his litany test to see if he's going to be uh, the king of boxing. Because right now, I don't think Canelo is going to fight either one of these guys. And, um, you know what I'm saying? While he sit back and prepares, you know what I'm saying, for his next bout, um, you know, these the, the regular guys, or like David Benavidez, David Morrell Jr., they're going to have to uh, battle it out. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's just fine with the king of boxing, Canelo, right? Um, you know, so, you know, let's see if uh, David Benavidez uh, go ahead and rise to the challenge because they're not gonna they're not gonna let David Benavidez off the hook, right? They're gonna they're gonna make sure that David Benavidez answers to uh, David Morrell Jr. demands and challenge, right? So you know they've been talking shit for a long time, you know what I'm saying? So the 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 offer has been going back and forth. David has offered has offered David uh, Morrell Jr. a fight. And and uh, he turned it down, and now uh, David Morrell Jr. has offered um, David Benavidez a fight, and he turned it down to fight Dimitri Zandra. Either way, they're on a collision course. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why people are pointing out ducking when it's the business of boxing that's coming into the way, right? And uh, they don't seem to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at uh, 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 David Haney, right, he just beat Regis Prograde. They say he's supposed to do that. So they don't want to give Devin any credit for beating uh, Regis Prograde, right? Just like this fight with um, David Morrell Jr. and Cena Beckel. How can you give him credit but discredit Devin Haney for his fight, who fought a better opponent, a champion, right? But everybody's looking at this Cena Beckel like, you know what I'm saying, he was like, you know what I'm saying, a real test for uh, David Morrell Jr. And I call cap on that, you know what I'm saying? And um, I, I mean, I see how talented he is, and I see how he was able to uh, get that guy out of there. But if if you look at Cena Beko, man, he looked terrible in there, man. I mean, he looked like he looked like an amateur or something, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I wasn't impressed with the performance, you know what I'm saying? I was impressed with the. Uh, I'm impressed with his talent to see it on display, um, just see his movement, see his punching angle, see his power on display. But you know what I'm saying? Let's not. Let's not um, let's crown him. Let's not crown him king yet. You know what I'm saying? Let's see him do something. You know what I'm saying? Let's see him beat David Benavidez. Let's see. Let's give David ben Benavidez a chance. You know what I'm saying? To carve out some room and see if he can get that Canelo fight. Let's let's carve him out some room like we do everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, let's not say David Benavidez is scared of uh, David Morrell Jr. We've seen David Benavidez in the room in the ring too many times for all that nonsense, right? So, you know, that's the next fight that everybody want to see. So I don't think David really can escape that fight. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's give David Benavidez, the Mexican monster, the benefit of the doubt. And, um, you know, I think I think Maria Jr., you know what I'm saying, has more skills than uh, David Benavidez. So let's wait for the fight to, uh, you know what I'm saying, arrive. You know what I'm saying? Let's. Let's not say that uh, David Maria Jr. is some kind of uh, monster right now. You know what I'm saying? Because he's only beaten B-level B competition, right? And I've been saying that all along. So, But I do think uh, he has the ability to beat the Mexican monster. Um, with all that said, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's get it on, man. Let's let's support uh, David Maria Jr. Hopefully, David will uh, look at that fight and make that damn fight. You know what I'm saying? But this has been Pool Kind of Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. Peace.